President Trump will join all of the other living former presidents for a memorial service honoring the life of George H.W. Bush. Our Washington reporter Mark Meredith joins us live this morning. Mark, there are only a few more hours for the public to pay their respects at the rotunda. Tonight, and Felicia, that's right. The Rotunda service will be wrapping up in just a couple of hours, and then at 10 a.m., that's where we're going to see uh, Mr. Bush's casket brought down the Capitol steps right here behind me. The sun is just beginning to come up in Washington. We're seeing some more people, including security, Secret Service, as well as those coordinating the events, coming to the Capitol, getting ready for a very long but likely moving day today. This morning, a steady stream of mourners continued to visit the casket of former President George H.W. Bush. Later this morning, Mr. Bush's casket will leave the Capitol, moving to the National Cathedral, where President Trump, all of the living former presidents, and thousands more will gather to honor the 41st president. On Tuesday, President and Mrs. Trump met privately with the Bush family at Blair House across from the White House. President Trump is not expected to deliver remarks at this morning's memorial service, but former President and Mr. Bush's son, George W. Bush, is scheduled to speak. On Tuesday, several high-profile Republicans, including Bob Dole and Colin Powell, visited Capitol Hill to pay their respects. Meanwhile, on the Senate floor, lawmakers from both parties praised Mr. Bush's legacy. He was a devoted public servant who fought to defend our freedoms. And he signed the Bipartisan American with Disabilities Act. After this morning's memorial service, Mr. Bush's body will be flown back to Texas. Officials say he will be laid to rest at his presidential library in College Station. And you can expect security to be tight all across Washington, both at the National Cathedral and again where we are here on Capitol Hill. We can already see also some of the camera crews coming into place this morning as we're talking about 10 a.m. That's when we expect the procession to begin here from Capitol Hill, five miles away up to the National Cathedral. Tanya, Tania and Felicia. All right, thank you, Mark. Well, Duke's head basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski paid his respects to the former president. CBS sports anchor Jim Nance led Coach K along with a group of other sports celebrities, including NFL MVP Peyton Manning. Nance called President Bush a mentor, a dear friend, and a father figure. CBS 17 will carry live coverage of the former president's funeral from Washington, D.C., starting at 10 o'clock this morning. So our noon newscast, well, we will be streaming that on our website, cbs17.com.